Happy learning. We got a quick one today. Find the kernel of the function f, which maps x1, x2, x3, x4 to the vector 2x1 plus 4x3, x2 minus 6x3. OK, so recall the kernel of f, which we write cur f, is equal to the set of, well, in this case, it's going to be x in R4, so x in our domain, such that f of x is equal to the zero vector of the codomain, which would be the vector 0, 0. OK, so basically how we're going to solve this is we're going to set this image equal to the zero vector, and then write out the corresponding system of equations, and then solve that system. So our first line would be 2x1 plus 4x3 equals 0, which we could solve and get x1 is equal to negative 2x3. And then our next equation would be x2 minus 6x3 equals 0, which again we could solve for x2 in terms of x3. So we have x2 is equal to 6x3. So x3 and x4 would be free variables. So x3 and x4 could be any variable. And so putting it all together, the kernel of this function is equal to the set of vectors of the form negative 2x3, 6x3, x3, and x4. Put that another way, we could write that as the span. The first vector would be the coefficients of x3, so negative 2, 6, 1, 0. And the second vector would be the coefficients of x4, both of our free variables, which would be 0, 0, 0, 1. So any vector in this span would be mapped to 0 by this function f. Not too bad. Well, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know if there's any linear algebra topics you would like to see me make a video on. All right. See you later.